Our Dothings are an indie rock band, one of the more favourable indie rock bands of this current decade, I would say. They've had some pretty solid releases so far, um, Attack on Memory, Here and Nowhere Else, just some really good indie rock albums. I wouldn't quite call them great, but they certainly are highlights of the genre, I'd say, over the past few years. Can't really go wrong with the uh, catchy hooks that you get on those albums and um, unfortunately I think their last album paled in comparison to the others though. I think it was um, just very blech. Didn't really get anything from it, like I just found all of that fun energy that they showed on their previous work wasn't there at all so I didn't really go into this new album with great expectations to be honest. I was expecting it to be you know, more of the same, less exciting, um, but actually, you know what, I, I was proven wrong, I, I must say. Last Building Burning is actually way more energetic than I expected, perhaps their most ferocious album to date. I mean, the way this album kicks off with that, like, post-hardcore, almost screamo-esque type track is just so much fun, and it's so wild uh, to start the album off like this. It just caught me by surprise completely. In the best kind of way, I mean, it just starts off with this burst of like, <laughs> that I just was not expecting, especially considering they've not really delved into this kind of sound all that often. This throwback to the 90s post-hardcore sound really, uh, really showed that they had this really cool way of changing things up that I just didn't see coming. For the rest of the album though, they don't really go in this direction a lot much, although for sure they have those kind of like slint-ish tendencies on tracks like Disillusion, where it's just like this really slow build and kind of hits a crescendo towards the end. It's Again, it's quite an experimental approach for this band as generally prior to this, they've just been pretty straightforward with their tracks, not in a bad way, but they generally hit a pretty standard groove for the genre, whereas these tracks hit a different style that they don't usually go for and it works quite well. Even with some of the riffs, I'm reminded of like bands like Modest Mouse on some of this uh, material here. Um, I don't know if it's just because I listened to Moon and Antarctica quite recently that I'm just, you know, memorizing those riffs in my brain, but there were a few times here that reminded me of that. So there are those throwback moments that I think they're showing their influences, but they're showing them in a really good way and it's working out well for them. I think considering the album starts off with that burst of like velocity, I think they could have carried that on on a lot more tracks, but still I like the production style on here. It's a bit rough, it's a bit sharp, like, like sharp as in like, you know, like pointing into you, like dagging you like this. And it just shows that they're quite versatile too. I mean, to go from their last album to this, even here and nowhere else, there aren't really many comparisons you could uh, draw up, but like they are pretty creative, I must say. I've got to give them a lot of credit here. Perhaps with a track like Leave Him Now though, uh, the hook just gets rammed into you a little bit uh, too much to the point where it gets a little redundant. The Leave him now. I say it so many times on this one cut. It reminds me of some kind of like college rock type stuff, you know, that you'd again get from the 90s. That's always been part of their style anyway with those like really melodic hooks that kind of get stuck with you um, quite frequently. But I just again think this one track didn't quite do it for me, that's all. Generally, there aren't really any bad tracks here. I just maybe think they could have ended with a bang, like on that flat final closing track. It is only 36 minutes long, this album. Perhaps they could have hit you hard again with that like heavy material. But again, it's not really a bad track. And actually, you know what, for the majority of this album, there are just really solid moments that I particularly just really enjoy grooving along to. Such a vast improvement from their last album, I must say. But overall, I'd say, once again, it's just a really good album from the band. Um, I, I'd say Attack on Memory is my favourite from them, but even then I wouldn't go as far as saying it's like a great, great album. So perhaps Cloud Nothings just haven't quite hit me personally just yet. They have some solid uh, material on this album, but I think in, even in comparison to some of the 
better indie rock albums of the year like Parquet Courts, The Beths, that kind of stuff. It does pale in comparison to those just ever so slightly. I'm going to go strong 7 out of 10. I think this is a good one. Definitely check it out if you've um, not already. And if you have checked it out, let me know your thoughts on this album. I'm sure you will like it more than I did. Subscribe to the channel for more reviews. Have a good day. Leave him now.